Yes, sir, baby. On the radar radio, yo, special guest in the building. Bet's eye in the building. Eddie Kane in the building. It's K. It's K. What's up, yeah. bro? Oh, I, actually I, yeah. <laughs> I actually did that pretty good. I actually did that pretty good. That was got on point. What's up, up, my brother? Yo, How are you? I appreciate you for having me, man. I'm good, man. Happy to be here. Man, I'm man. excited to have you. You just, um, you know, by the time that people see this, the freestyle probably be out. You just ripped that freestyle. You killed that shit. Yeah, I appreciate um, it. And I'm excited uh, to have you, man. New album out now. A lot going on right now. Yeah, yeah. Grinding, man. Wonderful world of Kano. If y'all ain't checked that out, check it out. It's on all streaming platforms. That shit is fire. Hit me in the DM and let me know, man. I talk back. Let me know what you think I talk about that shit. Back. Yeah, real talk. You have that type of personal relationship with, with your fans? Yeah, man. Yeah, I try to like, you know what I mean? Answer everybody. I don't want nobody going unanswered. I don't ever want to hear the he getting Hollywood or all of that type of bullshit. So, you know, they know, even if it's not right there back in, you know what I mean? The, Five minute, ten minute radius. I might hit you back a day later or a day or two later, but I'm gonna hit you back. You right. Know what I'm At some point, to, you gonna get back. I to try the to people. get back to everybody gradually, man. That's how I like to keep it with my fans and supporters. Word. Yeah. I'm sure that they appreciate that shit too. I'm sure that that you know. Yeah, man. It's been a long time coming for me, man. So I appreciate it all, man. You know what I'm saying? I've been grinding for a long time. I uh put out my first mixtape on the streets in Brooklyn at 16 years old. Wow. You know what I'm saying? So You was out hustling the tape type shit. Yeah. I was selling my shits on the corner, man. You know what I mean? And um, when they wasn't buying, I was giving them out free. Like, Were you one of the people that would ask for the five bucks after you gave them away? Nah, nah, nah. I wasn't <laughs> you have to that. think That's about it finesse. for a second. Nah, because nah, I, 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 I used to finesse in certain ways, but that definitely, I wasn't That wasn't that. the finesse. Oh, that yeah, wasn't, that wasn't your type of finesse. That's not good. I, that actually happened to me before downtown Brooklyn. Somebody did that for me, did that to me, and I took the CD and I threw the shit in the trash. I never even listened to it, so. Wow, because he, because... he asked you for the bread after? Yeah, and it's like, you know, I gave it to him because I felt like, I felt tight. You know what I mean? I felt like you felt bad like a really bit? like not bad, but I really felt like more so disgusted. Like because he gave it to me, like like he put it in my hand first. So I appreciated that. Like oh, all right, this your music, all right, dope, dope, dope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just asking for like ten dollars, five dollars, or whatever you got. Donations. Bro. I was like, <laughs> All right, bro, go ahead, man. Take your shit. But it was like, by that time, it's just like... Yeah, you, you was kind of over it at that point. You didn't even yeah. want to listen to it and shit like that. You yeah. was like... And I still gave him the bread, too, just out of, you know what I mean, just to make him feel better if it's about the money. But with a person like me, with this hip-hop shit, it's about passion, you know what I mean? I went out there, and I was just giving CDs out. When people was walking past and thinking that I was trying to ask for money first, I was just like, no, it's free, just to, just to get them to grab it, you know what I'm saying? So... I know what it is to really be hungry, you know what I'm saying? And I know what it is at the end of the day when people, you know, try to finesse and shit. So, man. You're trying to make, trying to, you know, just trying to make a buck so they can eat. Try to put the money first, Exactly. Man. Try to feed their family, make the music, shit like that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you got to feed your family. You got to really get to the money if you, you know what I mean, in this business. But at the same time, if you got a natural passion for hip hop, then the money really shouldn't yeah, matter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The money shouldn't matter. Right. Does, do you feel like the money matters to you at all or not? No, nah, no, nah, actually, it's funny because uh, I've been uh, progressing the most of my life these past probably like two, three years. And During I've the pandemic. Yeah, but I call these the money hungry years for me because I was never really about it, like about like going hard and being on top. Of, I did my music, you know what I mean? I gave music out. I, I worked with a lot of people and um, it wasn't about the bread with me, but when I was like, you know what, I'm going to start investing in the merch and getting all of this type of different mm -hmm. shit, shit just started really taking off. So it's it's kind of, I mean, it's about the money with me now. It's good. <laughs> it's good. And it's looking good. You know what I mean? Turn so, the pandemic to a pandemic. Yeah, man. I was definitely one of those, man. And none of the, none of the bullshit either. Just straight, you know what I mean? Just straight hustling. Grinding, hustling. Straight grinding, yeah. Is good it grinding. For you, is it hard to be like an independent artist? Do you find it like difficult? Like what is your kind nah, of... Nah, hell no. Because this is my life. Like, you know what I'm saying? You I fully was, dedicated to the music, 1,000% type shit. Yeah, shape. man. I was, I was around, man, in MySpace days. The dadpiff.com days, the smack DVD days. I was running around trying to get on DVDs. I was rapping since a very young age. So, you know what I mean? That's, that's. You've been doing it. Been doing it, bro. Been I find hip hop interesting, though, because, like, unlike other genres, like, it's funny, because I actually thought about this the other day. I'm like, when you see pop stars, pop stars just kind of pop up, right? Mm -hmm. You don't really see their come ups, right? Mm -hmm. um, uh, maybe on, like, like, Doja Cat might be a different example, but Doja Cat is also in some way a hip hop artist right. to some extent. But pop artists, they just kind of come out of nowhere, and you're just like, oh shit, like, oh, look, yeah, it's fucking this person. And, yeah, for yeah. the most part. But, like, with hip hop, there's so many different levels and different ways in hip hop that you can make money. You know what I'm saying? There's, like, mm -hmm. there's, like, you know, there's the underground scene, but then there's, like, a 
mid tier, and then there's obviously you know the little babies and the money bag yos, and mm -hmm. you know, and then above sure. that you got like the Jay Zs and the Kanye West. But like they're also so many tiers to definitely how you can definitely. make how you can make a living and make bread as a as a hip hop artist too. Right, right, right. right. I find that interesting. Yeah, it's dope, man. Um, I, I really I really fuck with the underground market, man. They um. They really support the grind and they really support the music and um, it feel good for your music to really be appreciated and reciprocated, man. They buying the vinyls, they buying the tapes and stuff, and um, it's nothing better than just being appreciated for telling your story. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So um, I'm grinding. I'm doing what I gotta do. If I if I get to make it up there with the money bag yos and the babies, I'll be honored. But honestly, I'm straight. You happy with where you I'm are straight, right now? Yeah, very happy, very but happy. But that's still man. a goal for you at the end of the day. Yeah, hell yeah, man. Like. Fans singing your music, asking, you know what I mean, for you to sign stuff. You know what I mean? I got a nice little co-following that meet me out where I go, and I'm good. You know what I mean? If anything expand, it expand. But, but those co-followings are dope. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, obviously, like, you, like, the Rome Streets, the you know, mm -hmm. leading into, like, the Griselda. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like that's all one and the same type of lane in hip-hop. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Granted, like, you know, like, Griselda's are signed to majors, but, like, yeah. they're still very much part of, like, that. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. They and got it. They're still grit underground and they still you know what i mean got the merch moving they still got the underground vinyls everything is still moving right like yeah. the only thing i'm different about them is that they're signed to a major label you know that's what i'm it. saying that's you know it. that's like i feel what i feel like is like the only core difference in that lane of hip-hop because like at the end of the day like yeah they're like the face of the underground i guess type of scene of hip-hop mm -hmm. but like all y'all are still in like this one sort of the same way that like Pop Smoke and all the drill rappers are in this other type of bubble. Right. Like, that's, like, right. a different type of bubble, yeah, too, that still for sure. exists. And for sure. You know what I'm saying? That for they're sure. actually helping allow y'all and the people that they bring up, too, to kind of mm -hmm. have that platform, too. Because, mm -hmm. you know, you might go listen to, like, you know, Benny one day, and then they're, they're going to recommend your music, too. I was it's just all about part to get of, into it's that, It's all part man. of, like, the bubble. All part yeah. of that bubble, yeah. That's one thing that tripped me out one day. I was just, you know being a fan of myself and just being excited to see my stuff on streaming platforms and then when they would, when I scrolled to the bottom and sort of recommended it had a whole bunch of artists that I literally, you know what I mean, that I pay attention to from uh, Benny, West Side Gun, Conway, mm -hmm. then my brothers, Rome Streets, Ram, and it's like, oh shit, you know what I'm saying? Like they really put you in the, in the market yeah, already. Yeah, yeah. Like, you know, it's dope. It's dope though. It's dope. Now I find that shit fire. So we got the new world, uh, the new album out right now, Wonderful World of Kano. Yeah. Right? Um, just just dropped right pretty recently. Yeah, uh, I dropped that on uh, February twenty second. Yeah, so two, recently. Two, 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 two. So what is what is the wonderful world of Kano? The wonderful world of Kano, honestly, it's not really wonderful at all. The whole message <laughs> behind it is just like me living my life, man, and trying to find wonderful in these situations. Mm -hmm. You know, the good, the bad, and the ugly. You know, but um, if you check out the album cover, that. that that explains everything in the cover with my eyes. You know, I'm lost. You know, I'm lost in the sauce, and I'm still finding my way. You know, right? What you I'm got saying? like the little um, what's the? I don't even know what the fuck. What the fuck? The, the, like the spinning wheels in your eyes. Yeah, type yeah, shit. yeah. A lot of hitting. Yeah, 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 the little hitting hypnotizing hypnotizing thing. Yeah, 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 man. That just symbolized me. You know, just being lost in the world. You know what I mean? Just trying to find my way. You know what I'm saying? Trying to find the wonderful, the wonderfuls, and the good, bad, and the ugly. Um. You see, it got the hearts with the guns. You know, that's the fake love, and everything has a meaning mm. with that. But that's, you know, what I mean, I'm lost in the you got sauce. Like the girl, you got like the girl on it too. <laughs> yeah, you know, that's the temptation. That's, the temptation. You know what I mean? Yeah, you know. Then I got the pigs right there. Mm -hmm. Got the drugs, it's mushrooms, and and, and the weed bong and all that shit. Mm. That's that's the life we surrounded by. You know, that's the life I'm surrounded by. You know, and that's why saying? you got the spinning wheels in your eyes because it's just a, it's like a cycle type I'm shit. Lost man, yeah. I'm trying to find a wonderful with it. You know what I'm saying? Still go through, you know what I mean, regular person who stress stressful issues like anybody else, you know what I'm saying? But day to day I'm still grinding. Just still got that passion in my heart to just put forth good music. So that's kind of what the message is with the whole wonderful world that came. That's dope. I yeah, like how you bro. broke down the album cover. Cause I mean I would have gotten that from like the shrooms and the and, and the pig and obviously the heart, but like all the other stuff, like I, I might have not picked up on it. Yeah, bro. And maybe yeah. other people might not pick up on it when they just like look or they listen to it, you know? Yeah, definitely. It's definitely. funny, I had a conversation um the other day. I forgot who exactly it was who was here. Oh, Glocane from um from Harlem. Shout out Glocane. Mm -hmm. Glocane, uh he me and him were talking about the importance of album artwork mm -hmm. right and one of his recent album artworks was uh he basically remade the matrix cover uh the not the matrix cover but like the scene where neo stops the bullets mm -hmm. and he made it with his like 
his his face, right? Yeah. And it was hard. It was fire. And we were talking about how a lot of people were talking on his Instagram about the cover, mm -hmm. not so the music, but then people would go listen to the music because like you know they oh, see the sure. cover. Yeah, for sure. And I and I express how like there is like a, a lost art in like mixtape covers, not for everybody, mm -hmm. but for like you know during the era of like uh, in like the Donda versus Certified yeah. Lover Boy shit. Yeah. Everybody's like, what the fuck? What, like you know what I'm saying? There was like a lot of discourse on Twitter about album covers. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I thought that. So like you explaining like that. To me, that means a lot to me because I love album covers, and I yeah. and I remember when I was a kid on iTunes when I would um, you know, illegally download music. Yeah. I would yeah. actually go on Google, download the album cover, and then make sure I put the album cover on the thing on iTunes. Yeah, that that yo, everything about the album is just what's important to me because that's what I grew up on from from skits and interludes to having intricate artwork. That's what I saw. You know, when I used to take my brother's CD books and flip through the CDs and listen to all the music right. that they told me I shouldn't listen to and all of that. So that's where I really go about that. Like, I really don't I really don't play when it comes to artwork because it's like I still want to give people the same feel that I saw when I was a kid. And it's like, I don't know what this is, but I want to listen to this shit just because of the artwork. You know what I'm saying? Right. And even if you uh look on YouTube to one of my uh, tracks that I have on YouTube that's on this album, somebody commented... I click. I had to click it just for the artwork. Mm, there you go. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So you know, it's dope. It's yeah, dope. there, 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 there is like a good it serves its purpose. Yeah, exactly. Like yeah. the lost art isn't really, you know. Yeah, it's not as lost as we think it is. You know. Right. Well, Who made that art? Can we shout them out? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. My man Craig Dyer, man. He's overseas too, man. Where he from? Uh, UK. From the UK. Yeah, he's definitely from the UK. From the UK. He's from the UK. Yeah, he's from the UK, and okay. that's. Valid. Hand painted, also hand painted. Yeah, so there's like an actual physical oh, hand painted thing out oh, there too. Yeah. Is that oh, your crib? Yeah. Not yet. Oh, it's still in the UK. No, he did one for me before prior, and that's why I went reached out to him because um mm. he sent me the uh, digital joint. Right. And then he said I'm gonna send you the whole canvas, and I was got like, you blown the fuck away. So I was like, this is what you do. <laughs> I need one more. You know what I'm saying? That's so, right. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Shout out to my guy. CD, Shout out to man. him. That's a dope cover art for sure. What's your relationship with with Nems? Because I know we we. I mentioned that before. Man, Nems is my brother, man. Nems is my guy, man. Salute to the gorilla, the big gorilla Nems, Big man. gorilla. Um, that's like fam, man. He just, he looked out for me, you know what I mean? Gave me some opportunities. We made good music. He's good with my bro, Rem. They've been working together for years, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? So it's just kind of like a family type thing. Like we got a light, like it's a lot of mutual people in between me and Nems that's like, you know, very tight knit, so... I'm always around them. Yo, and I'm yeah, always yeah, around yeah, those yeah. people. You know what I mean? Even when I'm not around Nems. Nems, you know? yeah, even when you're not around Nems. Shout out, to, shout out to Nems. I love Nems' energy. Nems' Fuck energy. Fuck your life. Bing Fuck bong. your life. That's my guy. Hell Fuck yeah. your My favorite are the, um, when he goes around just roasting. Don't ever disrespect me looking oh, yeah. like. <laughs> oh, yeah. He go with that, too. He, he just he be quick. doing that for fun. He yeah. quick. He quick, man. I used to have it like that. And I you smoke too much. <laughs> <laughs> and you and Rome, how did y'all two meet too? I meant to ask that. Oh yeah, it's a funny, it's a funny story because I um, that's another situation where we have so many mutual people, and it was just like it was just uh, it was just meant for the you know what I mean for us to click um, his manager, uh, his homies is cool with my homies, and it was just always a uh, you should make music, you should link with Rome type thing, you should link with Rome type thing. So um. When I was making my first official album to put on streaming platforms, I reached out to him, and um, that was the start of the relationship right there. Mm -hmm. You know, once you work, then you build on a personal level, and uh, right. me and Rome clicked ever since then, and it was like... Organically. Orga everybody really around me is just so organic. It was no, no, you know what I mean? No business, business type situations. Right. It was just like, yo, we link up, and then it was like a natural click, and it's like, yo, I fuck with you, I fuck with you, all right, let's do what we could do. You and know? the rest was history. That's it. And the last pro so the last project you dropped before this was a tree grows in Brooklyn, right? Yeah, yeah. Shout out to Big and that's Ghost, a, and man. that's a collab project that you did, right? Yeah, producer Big Ghost, man. So how did that how did that project come about? So um, working with Big Ghost, uh, he used to uh, I mean he was working he um responsible for uh, Griselda's project, like okay. one of their first projects, um, Conway's album. He works hard with like the up and coming underground artists that's really doing it, doing it. So uh, he reached out to me, and I already knew who he was. <laughs> So I was like... You're like, I'm a fan. Yeah, I was definitely a fan already. So I was like, I'm not going to play no games with this situation. Right, right. And um, he heard me rap on some other music. That's how he ended up reaching out to me. So when he gave me the opportunity, I ain't played with it. So he sent me some joints. And for the first time in a long time, I took a whole year off to actually, you know what I mean, build, you know what I mean, some some 
some some some shit around this project. So I lived. I went out there. You know, I had a lot of personal issues that I got to talk about, and um, we ended up making a masterpiece. I don't usually take time, and you know, I don't need to take time in the creative right. projects. I like to just create, create. But I just wanted to sit back. You took a year, di- a whole year. That's crazy. I just wanted to sit back and uh, take time. So. Day to day, I just pick different beats and I just live life. I'll go outside and do certain shit, but I have the beats in my ear pods and just think, jot a couple bars down here, jot a couple bars down there and just come back and just, you know, I was just rearranging and, you know, at mm. a year, when the year was up, I just gave them everything. It was like, Where'd you move to? Uh, well, my family. Because you said you moved, right? What you mean? Oh, I thought you said like when you took the year off, you moved. I thought oh, I heard no, you no, 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 no. Well, my family was in a fire. Which I spoke about on the, on the intro, you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? I got a new spot, you know what I'm saying? But I wasn't actually there for that event. Got I got to speak about it, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to everybody. My family was actually in the building when it happened, and we all they all made it out safe. And the fires now, is kind of, it's like it's scary. Like, after with that, the Bronx, everything, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, Um. if you listen to my first bars, you know, the craziest shit about it is um, I saw the bill. I, I had the, I saw it on live. That's the worst thing about it. You know, when you have people in your neighborhood on Instagram and all of that mm-hmm. shit. I woke up out of my sleep and shit. I saw that I had a missed call or two from my sister. So I was getting ready to call. But, you know, when you flip your phone up, sometimes the last thing is that you were on is what you see. I saw my fucking childhood building burning. That's crazy. So I jumped out of my sleep. I'm like, it was just crazy. It was just crazy. But, you know, I spoke about that. And um, that was just one of many personal issues that I went through in that year putting together that project. But... I did get me another spot in another situation. I spoke about that in, an, in another song, you know, a dope spot. So, you know, it was the good. Everybody's okay now, though. Too. Everybody's good. Everybody's good, man. Everybody's good. Very How do you flat. feel about, like, the state of New York music as a whole? Because there's, like, a lot There's a lot going on right now. There's, like, drill music. There's, obviously, the underground scene. There's the melodic music. Like, yeah. we, got a, we got a lot of good shit, like, shit to lit. pick and choose from. Shit lit. Shit is lit. I mean, if it's... it's it's a music lover's dream, New York City, if you're tapping into the right places, because you can Facts. get everything. You can get the underground music, you can get the drill, you can get the melodic sounds. You just got to tap in. You right. know what I'm saying? So I'm real happy with it. I'm loving it. And I'm tapped into everything, too. I'm not, even though you know the type of music, I just do underground rap music. Right. I do have tracks out there that I previously released that's to, you know what I mean, not drill, but trap beats and all of that stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, you know, I'm, I'm versatile. I know how to get it. So I listen to everybody. And right. I just be soaking up the energy. I'm loving what New York got. Like you said, you right know now. Smitty, too. Smitty was just up here not yeah, long ago, too. Shout out to Smitty. Smitty man. Shout out to Smitty Hell B. Yeah, man. Best, I got a lot of nice young rappers going on right now. For sure, for sure. A so, lot of artists coming up doing anything. Yeah, it's kind of crazy seeing New York back in like this place because it wasn't really like this like six, seven years ago. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. at, at, at this rate. You know yeah. what I'm saying? At this rate where there's like a new artist every other couple yeah, of weeks man. and shit like that to it's like dope. tap in with and shit it's, it's fire dope, man and, and the best thing about it is i'm not hearing no flaws out here either like a lot of the artists that i do stumble upon and that i do listen to they got their stories they spitting and they telling their shit so mm-hmm. new york is sounding good i'm all for it nah I'm all for it. i love i love the space that we're in right now so what else you got working on right now what we got coming up what's going on what you got planned um videos i got some videos coming soon from the project that i'm gonna be uh dropping soon uh more music lined up i really don't want to let the cow out the bag but we on on the radar it's a movie coming soon you got a movie you know? on the way yeah definitely got a movie and this is it's no rinky dink movie it's some it's some some stars in it so you'll see me on the screen soon i'm just working man i'm not turning down no opportunities some more shows coming soon too. Just you know, tap into the IG and just stay in tune. I'll be around. You get to your acting back? Is that what you're trying to say? Yeah, for sure. Word? For sure, for sure. Man, listen, I ain't, I ain't, I'm not into this game. I'm not here to play, man. You know what I'm saying? You might fuck around and hear me do Word. some voiceovers on Cartoon Network. It's not like I'm with it all. I'm with it all. I want to act. I want to do music. I want to, you know what I mean? I'll probably get into the art, start showing people art because I do art also. Right, obviously, so, yeah. There's a lot of different things I want to get into, bro. Word. But, well, I'm looking forward to seeing all that unfold. Um, I'm looking forward to more music from you. I'm looking forward to bringing you back here again in the for future. Sure, for sure, um, anytime. I appreciate the good energy. I appreciate the dope freestyle you laid down. Before we get yeah. out of here, uh, let the people know anything you want else you want to tell them or let them know where they can follow you at, all that good shit. Yeah. This camera right here. Right Listen, here. EddieKane.com. K A I N E, EddieKane.com, tap in, always updated music, Facts. visuals, interviews, 
everything. I'm going to definitely throw this up there on the radar. <laughs> you already know what's going on. I appreciate you for having me, bro. If y'all want to follow me on the um, social media handles, it's at underscore Eddie Kane. I only got a Twitter and an Instagram. So if you see a Facebook profile with this face on it, it's Fugazi. But um, shout out to the star. Shout out to the walkers. Everybody doing their thing, man. Get at me, man. There you go, man. Make sure you go follow him. Go run up the new project out now. Go subscribe. Wonderful World of Kano. Wonderful World of Kano out now. Sir. Till next time, Eddie Kane on the radar, my guy. Appreciate you. Appreciate you, bro. <laughs> Boom.